Hey guys, and welcome back to Titan Tries. This time, I thought we would take a look at another arcade simulation uh, air combat game, I guess. This time, we're going to look at Deadly Skies for the Dreamcast. Now, I actually bought this way back in the day when I first... Um, I think when I first had my Dreamcast, or at least shortly thereafter, I mean, let's be fair, the machine, if we were generous, lasted 18 months, so it must have been pretty early on in its life. And uh, as a big fan of Ace Combat, that's kind of what I was expecting to get. However, from what I can remember, it was way, way more kind of dumbed down, more simple than Ace Combat. It almost from the top of my head, um, felt like the first air combat game. So it's going to be interesting going back to this one. Now, I'm having some problems with my actual Dreamcast emulator, so we've busted out the console. We're going to be also using my Retro Fighters Striker controller, which is a new modernized control pad uh, made by Retro Fighters for the Dreamcast. It looks kind of like an Xbox 360 controller. It's way more comfortable to hold. You also have digital um, trigger buttons as well as the analog buttons. And the analog stick is a hall sensor. Well, the Dreamcast always use hall sensors, which is why you don't get stick drift on Dreamcast controllers. Um, it's not a bad controller, to be honest. I like it. It didn't work very well with Blue Stinger though, but they have just come out with a wireless version of this. So, yeah, maybe we're going to invest. I was almost ready to retire the Dreamcast to the uh, the the <laughs> history books uh, because we were going to go for emulation. However, my emulator is having problems, so, you know, it's always good to have a backup. Anyway, Deadly Skies. Uh, I remember the music being like proper pounding. Um, so that's going to be interesting to go back to. So we get a bit of blurb on the back. Ready to rip through the sound barrier. You have been contacted to take control of unfriendly skies and you'll be paid for every strike. Save up to buy over 30 aircraft from A-10s to MiG-29s, strike ground targets, sink aircraft carriers, skim canyon walls, even chase down the legendary Blackbird. Feel the G. Um, yeah, played the absolute hell out of this. I also believe I had a demo of it. Um, back on the original Dreamcast magazine. So I'm pretty sure that's where I originally found it. Uh, it was called something else in Japan. I think it was called uh, Air Force Delta or something. But we have a synopsis here. Deadly Skies, also known as Air Force Delta in Japan and North America. Didn't realize that. Ha. Huh. Okay, is a combat flight simulation game released in 1999 for the Dreamcast. It was developed and published by Konami. Features over 30 different fighter jets based on real-life models. The game is set in a fictional world where the player controls a mercenary pilot who takes on various missions for the Republic of Laconia, a newly independent state that faces threats from its neighbours. The game has been compared to Ace Combat in its gameplay and style, and yeah, yeah, it, it, it really sort of was a carbon copy. However, unfortunately, by the time Ace Combat 3 had rolled round, they'd moved on, um, you know, so although this game looks pretty, and from what I remember, it does, it's going to be interesting. Uh, to see how basic this gameplay was. So the game was one of the launch titles. I didn't realise it was a launch title. That's interesting. That's good to know. Um, in North America and Europe. The game has a different cover art for each region. Okay. The European version featuring a more realistic and dramatic image of a fighter jet, whilst the Japanese and North American versions both have more stylized, cartoonish look. Interesting. The game also had a Game Boy Color version that was released in 2000, which had a different plot and gameplay from the Dreamcast version. Why not? It's a, it's a different game at that point, but... Sure. The game spawned a series of sequels, including Air Force Delta Storm for the Xbox and Game Boy Advance, Air Force Delta Strike for the PlayStation 2, and Air Force Delta Alternative for mobile phones. I didn't know that. 
I knew that this was on the Xbox. Yeah, there's the realistic look. That'll make the thumbnail as well. Um, okay. I knew it was on the Xbox, but I thought it was the same game again. The game features voice acting for the mission briefings and radio communications. Well, I should hope so, because Ace Combat did that back in 1995. Uh, but the quality and accents of the voice actors vary depending on the region. The European version has British voice actors, whilst the Japanese version has Japanese voice actors with English subtitles. Alright, I say we fire this sucker up. Yeah, um, unfortunately these European Dreamcast cases are made of paper. And if you can find a couple of these that are in good condition, good fucking luck. Because I remember even back in the day... You'd, because uh, we had these thick, chunky boy cases. Um, back in the day, as soon as you'd get these home, the manuals were thick as hell as well, which is why we had the chunky boy um, cases, because there's like 38,000 languages in that, even if each, you know, language is only two pages. Um, but yeah, so we had these chunky boy manuals. And as you take the shrink wrap off, usually these corners would just dink. Just literally chink off in your hands. And then you're like, well, that's shit. Whereas I believe in uh, the rest of the world, you just had normal CD cases. Which would have been better. But, um, you know, these would have been better if they weren't as shit. And obviously, aged plastic, they're crumbling even more. Most of the time, if I buy a Dreamcast game, um, don't even worry about the case. The, the case is going to be in crumbs. <laughs> literally. Anyway, without any further BS, let's switch over. All right, <laughs> so. After having to find an old pirate disc of the game, it looks like we're up and running. For some reason, my actual um, real copy of the game just doesn't feel like working. God bless it. That's okay. Ranking data was not loaded. Well, I think we'll live without that. So, this game <laughs> was incompatible with my HDMI adapter. So, I had to dig out my uh, SCART to HDMI adapter, which didn't really like this game either. So, I had to play around with the settings for ages uh, just to get it to display. In fact, I had to download Elgato's own capture software to uh, <laughs> fiddle with some settings. That took some time, and then I found out that my disc doesn't actually work either. <laughs> so, ah, good fun times. Right, this is probably the most I've ever put into a, <laughs> let's try. So we've got very easy, we've got easy, we've got normal. Let's go for normal, just because we're a little bit hardcore. History of the Laconian Air Force. Year XX90. The Laconian province of the Federation of Republic of... Oh, good lord. Yeah, so stuff's happening. People aren't happy. And I guess there's war. Pretty sure we don't care about any of that. Nonsense. All we need to know is where the enemy's at and how quickly can we kill them. Oh god, it does look nice. This is Delta Base Tower. You must be the new hotshot recruit. Well, if you say so. I've been hearing things about. Um, okay. Just try not to die too soon. I will take that under advisement. Welcome to hell, Lieutenant. Alright, <laughs> sure. Where's all this voice acting that we've heard so much about? Lots of loading. Ah, uh, yes, I remember the mission select screen. So we've got three red lines there, and they eventually fill up with missions. 
So we've got a time limit, 10 minutes. City of Naxos. All right. Um, so we've got a shop where we can buy and sell our fighter planes. Buy is out of stock, apparently. And we can sell fighter planes. We've got the F5E Tiger 2. That's all we have at the moment. All right. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's kind of like a training plane. Now let's have a look at the options. See if we can... Uh, controller. Right, we want expert. Because that's basically, from what I can remember, it's the same dealio as Ace Combat. You can have like a easy mode or, you know, a mode where you can actually maneuver. Multiple unmarked fighter planes, presumed to be People's Federation Air Force crafts, are on an incoming course heading towards the Delta base. Your mission is to target this air squadron. Pres uh, presume that People's Federation Air Force uh, strike team for elimination. The enemy is most likely a squadron of large bombers on a bombing raid of our base. You are to carry out a preemptive assault. All right, well, let's select an airframe and get going. I always liked how you saw the cockpit come down as you get ready for combat. Very cool. I mean, you know, there is a decent chunk of loading, but I guess that's fine. So we can yaw with the triggers. Interesting. A button fires. X button shoots. Y is accelerate, so I... Okay, Y is accelerate. That's curious. There's way, way more weight to the plane. Looks like our missile range is quite a bit longer as well. Fine. I wouldn't mind to try some more of these. I have to check it out on the Xbox at some point. So that's, yeah, we can yaw, which is very strange, the way we do that, actually. The D-pad doesn't really seem to do much, apart from bring up a map. These guys seem to take a decent amount of missiles to take out. That's not too bad. And we've got uh, some F-15Es coming in. Sweet. Let's see if we can get behind this guy. So our engines are at 74. Right, I see. So the afterburner, you hit the afterburners by holding down the accelerate button. If you let go of the accelerator, engines seem to drop back to 75, 74%. And then you can push the B button to break, which is fine. Yeah, this guy is playing a little bit hard to get, if I'm honest. But that's okay. Oh, we kick kicked him right in the arsehole. Don't get a huge amount of missiles either, which is curious. Seem to get... Oh, I didn't see what our actual tally was, but possibly less than in Ace Combat. Let's see if we can get a gun kill. Don't appear to have any kind of like gun limit. I'm not sure... Yeah, he just seems to be strafing us. Or at least trying to. Just ducking and weaving. Like the little sausage he is. Yeah, not really sure if we get like a target indicator. It definitely has uh, a lot more weight to it. The aircraft is really, really heavy and slow compared to how quick and dark like they are in Ace Combat. Which is something to note. Missiles seem to have way more range. Which is also okay. Definitely a lot. Different feeling. We got him. We got him. Took a hot minute, but we got his ass in the end. So we can use the D-pad, it would seem to uh, change our targets, which is really nice. And we're running out of time already. Right, we see, we see, we see. Got an F-16 coming in. Yeah, so visually it's nice. I mean, uh, I genuinely think Ace Combat 
actually has the edge. And because I've been playing so much Ace Combat, I'm getting the buttons kind of mixed up. But I guess that's kind of normal. Come on, can we get him? Can we get him? He's turning too tight, isn't he? Yeah, he's turning tight. Got to try and get behind him. Oh, we s wasted his ass. Right, let's punch it. Because we need to find our primary targets. Get oh, yeah, I remember that. You can go above the clouds. Which, I remember that being really freaking cool. Back in the day. Draw distance isn't too shabby, I guess. Right, let's see if we can get a gun kill with this guy. I'm not going to hold my breath. And again, I'm trying to use the Ace Combat's buttons. Which is going about as well as you can imagine. No. Nope. Mm, okay. Yeah. We really blew past him without too much effort, actually. I don't know what the stall speed is. I guess under 200. By the looks of things. Alright. There's our little bomber friend. Alright, so I don't know what our range for our guns is, but... Not great by the look of things. Okay, so it's about about two uh, hundred uh, thousand and fifty, I think. Fifteen hundred sort of range for the guns. But unlike Ace Combat, there's no like lead target indicator or anything, which is a bit of a shame. Let's do a couple more if we can. So we got 374,000 buckazoids for that, which wasn't too bad. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting getting used to the aiming again. Damn, I really want to <laughs> want one of those wireless controllers now for the Dreamcast. Mission Zwei. Federation. Oh, I remember this. Federation Fleet Obstruction. This is really cool. Right, can we buy anything new, I wonder? We actually can. Oh, we've got a couple of options. We've got the MiG-21 fish bed. Uh, not really interested in that. We also have the k 4 c 7 Not exactly interested in that either, to be honest. More defense. Less power. More speed. Mobility is about the same. I like the way the aircraft have numbers, so there is that kind of uh, want to collect them all. Should we try another plane? Yeah, we could do. I guess power does power means how powerful the missiles are maybe let's give this thing a go sure why not it does look like it's kind of an interesting aircraft we have intelligence of an impending Ross uh, rendezvous in the Dispard Island area of major of major enemy battleships dispersed in different regions its success means the mobilization of a powerful fleet. Your mission is to strike the enemy battleships before the rendezvous. The defense capabilities of an individual battleship are limited. But once a fleet has been assembled, our hands will be tied. Prevent this at all costs. You got it, dude. Select aircraft and start. Now this level, from what I can remember, wow. Yeah, that's, that's way better. That's way better than the plane we started with. Kind of good to know. <laughs> it's like massively improved stats. I'm guessing as we go on we get Eurofighters and that just pauses the game. How do we change... How do we change the view? Oh god, I can't remember how we changed the view. Not a fan of this kind of cockpit style view. I'm sure it's probably a combination. Really? How did we ch Seriously, how did we change the view? I've pushed every button. Oh, there we go. 
I think we're coming up to a lack of uh, buttons on the Dreamcast controller. Because I think to change the view, you hold one of the buttons down. Which... What was it? A combination of buttons. Right, so holding down down brings the map up. Yeah, okay, I have no idea how we change the view. That's really weird. Anyway, we've got sea harriers. Let's see if we can't take a couple of these puppies down. Right, I see how we change the view. You've got to hold down B and push Y. Yeah. I don't know. Don't ask me, man. I just work here. These sea harriers seem to be a little bit more... A little bit more tricky to shoot down, actually. Alright. I'm digging the look of the game, though. Oh, wow. When Yeah, this thing's way faster. Jeez. We can really burn through these guys. We've got missiles coming in from the front. Ooh, man. Alright, that's fine. We've got our energy bar, which is underneath that timer over there. Good to know. It's going to take me a while to get used to these controls, dude. Can we switch targets, please? Can we switch targets to something in front of us? Damn. I mean, ace combat it isn't. I'm going to be honest. Right, so it looks like it's going to take more than one shot on each craft to actually take out, which is interesting. So, I thought it was... Yeah, okay, so we change targets. Change targets by pushing up. It's not a combination of, it's just, you know, up to cycle through, I think. And we're getting hit by everything. So, ace combat tactics definitely aren't really going to help you out too much here. Which is, you know, fine because that gives you the impression that it is its own thing. Now, I believe this game got kind of average-ish reviews when it came out. And if we're not careful, we're going to be dusted pretty soon. I think, yeah, we're still getting targeted by the fleet, which makes sense. All right, let's see if we can't waste this carrier. We certainly have uh, tighter... ...time limits, that's for sure. Music isn't quite as good as I remember either, I'm going to be honest. It's not quite as uh, fist-shaking as uh, Ace Combat. But, I think I could get used to this again. We've got a missile coming in from behind. I like the way... Mi Whoa, that was, that was cool. Just narrowly avoided those two missile strikes. Look at how many frickin... aircraft we've got coming after us. Makes sense. We've just like flatlined their entire fleet. Is that going to hit? Nope. Definitely harder to hit your targets in this one. So it's going to be way more of a... In Whoa, we've done. Way more of an intense fight. Yeah, I don't know about this one, actually, coming back to it after all this time. It's not, to be honest, it's not living up to my memory, that's for sure. But that doesn't mean that necessarily, oh, and we've actually, you've got to purchase the plane again to actually use it. It's kind of like the original Air Combat. That's interesting. 
Um, I think in the interest of time, we're probably going to leave this one here, guys, because we're going to be about half an hour. Yeah, not sure about this one. Um, I think I could probably have my fun with it. That's for sure. But... Uh, I think as a kid I kind of convinced myself that it was better than Ace Combat because it was new and it was on the Dreamcast. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think Little Titan might um, might have uh, <laughs> been fanboying a little bit too hard there. But it would be nice maybe in the future to either do a full playthrough of this game, which I'm not opposed to at all. Or, and, or I should say, try out some of the later games. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. And as always, till next time.